Welcome back everybody. How are you guys today? I have your messages for today. So let's talk about it, you guys. I'm Michelle Light 7. Welcome. This is a 21 plus reading. Raw, uncut, unfiltered, unbiased reader. I don't know what the message is going to be before the messages come out. So please take only what resonates with you and leave the rest. Suggestions, questions, and comments can be left in the comment section below. This is a general plus a collective. It will not resonate with every single one of you. And if it does not resonate, may you um, check out some of the other videos in the playlist along with, um, you know, before you go, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Hit the bell notification along with the thumbs up. So, hey, y'all. How are you guys? Listen, I have your messages. Newbies, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you subscribe and hit the thumbs up so you don't miss the next upload. Along with my returning subscribers, welcome and thank you for being a part of the family as well. I send love and light to each and every one of you as well. So, listen, guys. I know I wanted to get some water, but we'll get started, okay? If I get choked up, if they try to take my vo voice away, um, then that'll be that. I'll just have to get up and get water. So I'm going to start with where we are here. So at the top, at the um, I have three cards, the feminine, the masculine, and the chance to choice and the challenge, right? On the as above and so below, we have the pull and off. So we might, the divine might have to pull us up from some low vibing things here, as well as something we might need to off, right off our situation that needs to be out of our, you know, whole situation. Because this is the best, you know, because we could get the best of the best from the divine. And we could get Ben, been there, done that, from, you know, the lower side, the below. Okay, so let's talk about it here in the energy. You guys, I might have to put an um, incense on. I want that good. Um, we've been getting really good um, energy coming in. Really good energy. And so I think, hold on, guys. Real quick. Real quick, real quick. Real quick. I will get it. I will get I got that fast look coming in. Fast look coming in. And stuff works fast around here. I got that fast look working around in here. I wanted to know a message. Listen, I don't know if food spices has anything to do with um with intuition but let me tell you something every time i have chicken curry and paneer tiki marcello like today let me tell you something my envisions be my foresights be so on point That I have to come and talk to y'all. I feel it pulling strong through me today that I got a powerful message here for somebody. I don't know what it is. You know, and like I always tell you, I never know these messages before they come out. Sometimes they're not even stuff that I think about. Sometimes they even are things I've heard about.
Make sure y'all still wearing y'all masks, washing y'all hands, and using y'all hand sanitizer as well. I will tell you that. Okay, our ancestors are out here on the table here with the remembrance here. So we remember our pet grandparents, our pet passed over um, folks here. So somebody has sadness, even though sadness didn't come out yet. I can see sadness here already. Um, sadness is definitely here. And we're going to definitely see where our ancestors wants to bring us to remember. They want us to remember something. You know, they told us to pull and off and to best in the bin. So we've been there, done that. We're going to go to the best is yet to come. The best is on, is on its way. We've been manifesting this week with one day we had three wishes. The second day we had pile, a pocket full of beans. The third day we had miracles. Yesterday we had the Midas touch. <laughs> now Midas touch can be good and bad, but we got the Midas touch. touch anything we touch turns to gold. So I could tell you that those things in my life has absolutely resonated I, I and, and i have they have resonated <laughs> that's all i can tell you they have resonated in many 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 different ways and sometimes you guys when i do these readings i have to go back myself and re-listen to what i said because some of the stuff i'll be like what who who told me to say that but I already know if I'm a messenger from the above, I'm going to get messages that I probably wouldn't even know to say. So ordinarily, that's where my knowledge, that's where my wisdom, that's where my vision comes in. Okay, as well. And I would like to let you know that this is a metaphor, simile, and phys figuratively along with literally in and out of text type of context here okay so just to let you know okay so let's get started i've rambled enough i've gotten off track enough i didn't drink let me get a little bit of swallow of more water all right so i should be good now all right we're gonna remember some things here do, 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 do. Just bear with me, you guys, for just a second. Sometimes the stuff likes to, you know, walk around and do its own thing for a second until I tame the energy. And that's what it wants me to do right now is gather the information in which they want to tell. So just give me a second, you guys, to gather the information in which I need to speak. Alright. Okay, so we got a lot of energy pulling in. So and also I like to remind you guys, please stay to the end of the reading because that gives you the entire message. It gives you where you're not getting bits and pieces. I know I don't start pulling cards sometime until the very end, but as you clearly see, I have cards pulled already. So just to you know let you know, you know, stay to the um end of the video. And make sure you um, subscribe and like and share. All that good stuff. You know, all that good stuff. Okay. So our ancestors are here. And it says, ancestors of blood and bone from earth. You have a spirit found, flown. Est um, astro ancestral sorry excuse me let's get that from the top again i'm sorry you guys this is the ancestors remembrance this is the ancestors of blood and bone from earth you have um to you have to fl to fl have spirit flown this is a ancestral line now healed at last and broke free from chains of the past this magic is worked with harm to none so mote it be there it is done so this is talking about they flown in here they want to let you know some things so they saying that you have a strong um ancestral lineage never forget who played a big part in your life 
That's who plays a big part in my life, okay? And that's my ancestor. That's my grandmother. That's my father's mother. And I think I've shown her before because she has that throat chakra type of situation where she has a gorder here um, from thyroid, um, overactive or underactive in her energy. So that's how she was, but she was very very insightful she was in you know as you can look at her you could tell she's you know indian um descent uh <clears throat> someone from your past turns up you are watched over by a deceased loved one solve a past issue so this is what they want to reveal to you as well they want to reveal some things as well you are the dream and vision that the ancestor has um has held you are the future of what they worked toward the memory of our ancestors will never die if we hold their lent their legacy alive within our bright birthrights and heal the ancestral lineage that we are responsible for discover and learn who you have come from and be proud to carry on their name so somebody's here is their name is here this might be an obstacle um that you are experiencing or connected to your past and you are holding on way too tightly here and now is the right time to finally let go remembering those who have walked before you understand that their ways will help you to release any hurt and pain healing ancestral lines will enable you to break free and step into the freedom your soul yearns for to be whole and complete somebody needs to be excuse me i got the hiccups now y'all sorry i'm starting the channel that's when it comes somebody here is going to be made whole something was stolen from you something was stolen from your family something was stolen from your family name may have been an inheritance may have been some type of uh, properties belongings one of a kind unique items etc here with the ancestors here somebody is here to regain their lineage here who what when where how i don't know um they're telling me that there was with the Sea urchin here is telling me that there was some mischief, mischief, mischievous things happen here. Somebody was um curving in its energy. This is an urgent message. This is also um ridiculous ego along with um they come in contact with. So somebody's gonna come in contact with somebody here. They're gonna have some type of um urgent message here for you okay and underneath that was the newt so that's that fork tongue that's that reptilian energy right underneath of it as well here with the newt in the energy so it's the fork tongue two-faced betrayal deceive lies gossip and backstabbing this is also never trust this thing or never trust this person it's also that also Okay, so that's what it's talking about here. Also around the table, we got wisdom on the moon on the 22 here in energy. That's under the waning gibbous in the energy. Also discernment is underneath that under the number 10. So it's going to be a death and a rebirth somewhere in this energy as well. So let's talk about you, Divine Feminine, since we got the remembrance right here. So what is Divine Feminine supposed to be remembering here remembrance from our ancestors what is divine feminine supposed to be she's supposed to be remembering that surround yourself with love on one side on the number 19 as well as something lovely will grow from this so something lovely will grow from somebody um being stole from something lovely something will happen beautiful somebody will definitely if you've been going to court if you have court coming up if in the next three months by november um you will see something happen something will happen here under the garden under the lavender okay under you know this place is here where you got 
folks here helping you here in this energy. You got somebody helping you. Lavender is more calm and relaxing type of, if you have like an air, what's those things that you put the oil in and it infuses, infuser? infuser so you might want to put some in lavender in an infuser and you know let it um surround you with that with the lavender there um also at the bottom of the deck we got make the change onto the source because there's going to be a reflection here somebody's reflecting something to you here something they're going to show you where we had that scarring yesterday where we could see in the mirror so now when i see mirrors it's almost looking in a crystal ball for me right now so that mirroring energy of scaring csc um what was it scaring where you look into the mirror like mirror mirror on the wall scouring so when you looking and i see mirrors that's going to tell me a message as well. So it may not be significant to you, but it definitely will be a clairvoyant um, message for me when we get to the make your, make the change. Because they're telling you that there's a change, the reason, and they will bring up the reason why that there's a change. All right, so I'm going to get into it now, you guys. I'm going to start with A. That could be the feminine to the masculine or um, the masculine to the feminine. Where the B could be the masculine to the feminine or the feminine to the masculine. And then we got C with the chance, the choice, and the challenge. Okay, so here we are. All right, let's go. Um, so we got the broomstick of clearance. Somebody might be going to a clearance sale. I don't know. You might be going to a clearance sale. You might want to clear your apartment. You know, you might want to clear some things out, make a path so that you can, you know, see where you're where you about to move to but somebody's about to make a big move they're sweeping out some things um in their energy they're sweeping it right out the door or sweeping it um so that it flows or something flows to you under clearance making a way you're gonna make a way here mm -hmm. you're gonna make some type of headway here some kind of um Give a tickle and flick with a helpful broom. Let's clear some space and make some room. Open windows and let air in. Clear the way around within. The magic is worked with harm to none. So mote it be. There it is done. So this is talking about you are in an urgent need to create space for the energy you are calling upon in order from in order for them to take their rightful place you wonder why your spell work is as dim why all you have asked for has not yet made manifest the answer is that the stitch of the stitch of clutter surrounds you it's time for clearing for magic needs space in order to birth so get rid of all that you no longer need and is not and not aligned with who you are today clean up sort out the trash donate to charity rearrange furniture and create some sacred space so that you can work feel at peace and connected Call upon your trusted friend Broomstick to move widen shins, wider shins as it sweeps away unnecessary content of your mind. Remove the constant internal chatter that has prevented you from hearing the voice of the spirit clearly. Out with the old, in with the new. That's the way the witches do. Stale energy are preventing you from receiving and moving forward time for a spring cleaning only keep around you that which makes you feel positive meditate and play, pray to clear your mind clean up your act purify your thoughts and actions the broomstick and besom is a magical tool 
used to sweep out negative energy from the ritual space and to sweep in positive energy before the ritual place upright at the front door or by the hearths hearth it protects those who live within the home use in hand fastings and couples holding hands and jumping over the broom Benounce fertility. So this is gonna benounce some fertility. Somebody might be getting pregnant, somebody might be getting in a wedding, and y'all might be jumping the broom in his energy. So this is the pull off, or somebody might leave you standing at the altar here in the energy here as well. Somebody needs to balance out some energy. You might find out some things about a person before they get married. The night before, you might find out that that person has um been unfaithful the night before with the five of cups here in the energy they might have um and it might have been the man that was with another woman and it's going to cause heartbreak here in the energy with you and him he's going to be wearing a mask or a cloak here in the energy which he's going to the masculine is showing himself here in the mundane in this energy as well um and that beta could be the woman could show us beta and it doesn't really matter with male or female energy because we carry both polarities but in the energy it's talking about the knight of cups so the knight of cups or the woman could have been doing it as well um but something lovely will grow from this there was something that you needed to learn here and it was something that you didn't have to get into this relationship to know um you know go any further this in it like almost like mr big and um in in um sex in the city you know where he didn't show up and you were all dressed and beautiful waiting for him to show and he never shows um it's almost like he's going to call you from the car and be like you know i can't make it or you know it's not going to you know he's not going to show up okay he's just not going to show up in the energy with the indecision he was undecided about why he could make it or he was fearful about the situation as well um with fear here i realized that i am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love he was testing himself to see if he really did love you but in his energy um with it being a broomstick you and jumping the broom with him i use my intuition in all assets all aspects of his life so he made the wrong decision that he wanted to marry you he loves you, but he doesn't um, want to marry you, okay? You know, almost like he bought the milk for free. So why buy the cow if I could get the milk for free? <laughs> that's why I always say, that's why they always tell you when you're in relationships, you know, try to, to abstain or withstand from having sex with the person so that, you know, y'all can grow fonder for each other court each other for a while and then see if y'all want to you know move forward or pull off from each other pull off okay from each other or bet or is this going to be a best the best decision for y'all in the situation or been is it going to be here like something that you've been been here done that type of energy or been there done that type of situation okay so i know the pull off under this energy something that they want to show you and your ancestors was trying to tell you that this person was just not for you or this person was not right for you okay that's just that was just your protection and this is also the incubation it's some it wasn't going to be time it wasn't going to take that much time in this incubation for you to see for this person's true colors to show up in the energy he was going to show or she was going to show her true colors colors um sooner than later in the energy okay so if they would have married you they would have been marrying you for the wrong reasons okay this is the incubation this says what what's the hurry why the gloom your seeds is safe within her womb await and trust now is the key for life will bloom most readily the magic is work with harm to none so mote it be there it is done so this is talking about what you have wished for will come about soon there are underlying factors that need to be considered before completion a new project is about to take off allow your dreams to unfold naturally without forcing the issue you have a reason 
to feel excited. New beginnings await. Okay, so this is what they want to reveal to you at this time of balance between light and dark. Because this is the, you know, the temperance is balancing it of light and dark in this energy. A time of renewal and rebirth of life. The Verna Equinox calls to your youthful spirit to come out of hibernation and awaken to the lengthening of days. In times of eggs were given as gifts to families and friends for blessings and abundance. It's time to celebrate growth and new life. So you're going to celebrate some births and new life under this incubation. So something that was old, you know, with this situation where we had to sweep out some things um, and something lovely will grow from this in this energy. Because they say that you're... The seed is growing here. It is still here. It's in an incubation state in this energy. But like I said, this also with this broomstick, whoever the person was that did something to you or took something from your inheritance or took something from some type of property or grandmothers or grandfathers, um, um, lineage, because it's talking about the ancestors, the remembrance of somebody else's past stuff. Is definitely going to have some problems. And they might be looking at, with the temperance here, they might be looking at jail time. You know, 25 years looks like. Or at least 8 to 25. <laughs> and if they old, I don't know what they're going to do. You know, I mean. And you might have did these things that you don't understand about humans. Yeah, we can't always pinpoint why people do things in our life. Under things that um, you don't understand about humans and things that never come true. So something for this person, if they didn't steal this stuff, they would never have had the success that they had because nothing would have came true for them because they only steal from others. Okay, they only steal from others. Let's see. Um, let me pull something here for the broomstick. Um i see what the channel choice is. The challenge. The hex. This is the banishment. This is banishment here. We got some banishment and hex here. Let's see what they want to tell you about the banishment and the hex. They're going to tell you something. Watch out. Withdraw and be brave. Use discernment. And be and take careful and take care. A fool would ignore hex alarms. Now banish all potential harm. This magic is worked with no harm to none. So mote it be. There it is done. So someone is not who they think that someone who you think someone is not who you think they are your energy is being drained by another negative behavior under the hex under the hex somebody got a hex out somebody is not who they said they was somebody is not probably even part of the family that took some stuff in this energy Beware of jealousy. And they're very jealous of you. That's the reason, first and main reason why they stole what they stole from you. Choose friends wisely. And you might even have a friend that might be trying to steal your man in this energy with the broomstick, with the incubation. Over time, they, they, that, that, that they might have been doing something. Your girlfriend, somebody in your family. It could be somebody as close as an aunt, a sister, or a cousin that could be doing something behind your back that you don't know about okay um something is too good to be true and it's time to walk away so it was too good to be true for them on the banishment because they're going to be banished from um society when they are locked up in prison okay when they still because that's what they got fearful about. They fearful about, you know, the, how long this incubation time is going to take. How long it's going to take.